Hello and welcome to the sixth part of this web development series where we are creating a drop down which is filled with data dynamically from a MySQL database. So in this part we'll be creating PHP scripts to fetch the information from the database and display it as JSON as a JSON file which the JavaScript can then read to load which will then allow it to insert it into the HTML file in the end. So we're going to be creating PHP scripts to fetch the database, the inf data from the database. So let's go create a new file, PHP file, and let's call it let's first make get makes. It's a simpler one. So we'll say get makes dot PHP and remember your PHP brackets like so. Okay, so now we've already created a script to connect to the database and open a connection. So we just need to require those scripts. So we go require space open db.php and then I'm just going to put it at the bottom require close db.php and that just goes at the end of our coding. So we'll close the connection afterwards. So now when we open the database we need we we need to query the database now. Okay, so we need to create a query. So let's create a, a SQL query. So let's go dollar sign query equals and let's do this inside PHP my admin so we can actually see what's going on. So we'll go here and we'll go S to the SQL tab. Now let's go select and now we only we're going to select the makes now we don't need to make ID we don't need the ID it's not gonna come in handy ever um, we only need the make itself so we just go select make and sorry the name column from makes that tells us it tells it just to select the name column from makes so let's try that. I'm just going to copy it into my clipboard and then click go here. And you'll see it's just got the name column from the make database, makes database. And that's all we want, okay? Because this is just going to populate the makes drop down with the phone brands. So let's go to our code and our query string will be that. That's it. Now, when we use select, it means that the query is going to return something okay so we need to assign that that data that it's returning to a variable so we'll create a variable called data equals mysqly underscore query the link so the connection which is the con object and then query like so so the data so now we have the data so we need to read this data as so we can turn it into a JSON file. Okay, so in PHP, before we get started, in PHP we create a JSON file by assigning all the values that we want inside that JSON to an array. So we create an array with everything that we want to display in the JSON file and we assign we assign all our values our data to those we transfer the data to the array which is then converted into a JSON file so let's go create a new array I'm going to call it makes and then equal array open bracket closing bracket nothing in between that's it now we need to read the data from that data variable so to do this we'll go while open bracket dollar sign row equals mysqly fetch underscore array so it's mysqly underscore fetch underscore array and then the object we want to fetch get data from so that's data like that and then inside here your next line your open curly brace and your closing brace okay so whoops. okay so now we need to add the row the name column 
of that row to the makes array. So to do this, we'll go, we want to push it to the array, so we'll go array underscore push, and now with the array object we want to push the value to, which is makes, and then the value we want to push. So it would be row, square brackets, and the name of the column that we want to assign to the, we want to add. So it would be name, we want to assign the name value. Like that, and that's it. So now that will create, that will add our, that will add all the names of all the makes of phones to the makes arrow. Now all we need to do is create the, is display the JSON. So it's simple, we just go echo JSON encode, so it actually has a JSON encode option, a uh, function, and then inside there makes. Okay, so, so we want to encode the makes array. And that's it for the makes of the phones. So if we go and preview this in the browser, let's quickly do that. So when you preview it in the browser, this is the result. It's SAMS, you'll see it, this is JSON, and it's basically a JavaScript array of all the makes of phones. So now that we've done the makes, let's do the models. So let's go back to our code and let's make another PHP file and call it getmodels.php. Okay, so let's do our PHP um, brackets like so. Now it's exactly the same code basically with a different query string. Okay, that's actually the only difference. So we can copy this code and paste it here. Okay. So it's just a query that's going to be different. So let's go to our let's go to our browser so that we can play around create a, a SQL query. So once again we want to get data, so we'll say select and we want to select the name holum of the models table. So we go models name and there's a reason I'm including the table name you'll see now select models dot name from okay now this from if we say from models okay so now we're just selecting everything okay but we don't want to select everything we want to we want to join in the makes we want to only select the rows where the make ID is equal to the make ID inside equal to the ID inside the makes table okay so we go inner join so I'm just going to do enter inner join makes okay so now we're joining the makes table to the models table and we say on so now it's going to join, it's only going to return the values, it's going to join them where models, so it's now joining the two tables together. So now we're going to have the models.make underscore id equals the makes.id. So now we're basically going to replace the makes.id column with the actual names of the brands okay this is a bit confusing don't worry it's um it'll make sense when we run the query okay and now so this is just going to return this is just going to inner join them okay but that's useless we need to actually now it's going to return all of the phones so once again it's a where so where and it's makes dot name now we use a special word called like so it's not equal it's like the make so let's try Samsung okay like that inside single quotes so I'm just going to copy it to clipboard and click go and you'll see we have all our Samsung phones okay so what it did was it took that string it matched it to the correct make it went and fetched the corresponding brand name for that make ID and it matched this to that brand name and it only returned all the values all the 
all the rows where the make ID matched the brand name. So where the brand name matched our Samsung or Sony. So we can try Samsung. We can do Sony or Apple. Let's try Apple. And you'll see it returns all the apples. And that's perfect. Okay, because we can use this data exactly how we we can now just simply convert that into an arrow. So let's go to our code with that we have the script in our clipboard. Let's go to our code and let's go to the query string here. And let's go and paste. Okay. Now I just want to put it all on one line like so. So I'm just going to oops put it all on one line like that. And then at the end there's one change we have to make is this must always be equal to a variable okay and that variable we're passing in so um we're going to call so you know when you search on google or something you know you get that google.com and then it's like a, a question mark q equals and then it's like this whole term we're going to have our own we're going to have question mark make equals samsung or whatever and it's going to it's going to match the it's going to basically we're going to extract that ver ver value and we're going to use it in our query now one thing I forgot to mention and it's very important what if we assign that what if we call that page but we don't have that make variable defined what will happen is our code will crash because it won't be able to find a make variable it will be undefined which means our SQL won't work which means we won't get a value which means the whole thing will break okay so we need an if statement so all of this should actually be contained in if statement so we should do if and then there's a function called is set okay and what is set does is it checks does this variable exist so we want to check does the make variable exist and the way to access that variable is dollar sign underscore get like that square brackets double quotes name uh, sorry make like so so is if that is set then do the following okay so if it's not set then it won't load anything okay then it will just display a blank page it won't return anything okay so if it is let's go and just assign that whole underscore get equals make let's just make it simpler to reference and just say I'll make equals underscore get make like that and then if we go to our SQL query here at the end here you see we must just replace this Samsung with that variable now with strings instead of concatenating strings and all of that in PHP there's a trick you can just go curly brackets opening curly bracket closing curly bracket and in between those two curly brackets we can go dollar sign make like that okay so you can see it will now it will replace that curly brackets with the value of this make variable so this is basically yeah that should be it but now oh wait let's go and just change the I'm just going to change this like the makes array to models just to make it more relevant so models and finally models and that's it so let's see what it looks like in the browser okay so it's blank and the reason for that is as I said we put in that if statement to check if our make variable was defined because right now if that if statement wasn't there our page would be broken and it'll show error messages and all of that so at least now we have a a catch so it doesn't display anything so let's go question mark make equals now let's think of a brand let's try Samsung enter and you can see it's listed all the Samsung phones which it has fetched from the database let's try Apple and it lists all the Apple phones Sony lists all the Sony phones Blackberry lists all the Blackberry phones so now we actually 
So now we also have a script that will fetch the phone models based on a variable we provided with, okay? So that's cool. So we, now that we've created this, these two scripts, we can now connect to these two pages using JavaScript, um, Ajax, and we can fetch this and we can actually then put these values into a drop down using JavaScript, okay? So we'll cover that in the next part. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you just now.